I'm your host, Andrea Miller, and I am delighted to tell you about the super special episode we've got cooked up for you today. My guest is my 14-year-old son, Nicholas Botnager. We have 20-something questions that we are going to be answering. We haven't seen them as yet, so they're both totally new. And our goal is just to have a really open, heart-to-heart conversation. We hope it is wonderful for you. And now my son is already starting to roll his eyes. (laughs) So if you have a teenager, um, my hope is this is something that will especially resonate with you. So Nick, are you ready? Sure. How do you feel? All right. You feel right? Are you nervous? No, I'm a little bit tired though. <laughs> well, you're 14. That's uh, that comes to the territory. Do you want to start with the first question, or do you want me to? What are three things that I say a lot? Um. Lately, you have been saying the uh, something chat, chat this, chat that. Yeah. <laughs> So that's a new word that I'm I'm going to try not to incorporate, but I I keep hearing it from you. Uh, you like to say big cap, cap and big cap, and um, I think the last thing you say a lot, especially in trying to get you to put down your phone or video game console, um, I'm just five more minutes. Just give me another few minutes. So I would say those are the three things. Well, it's also me getting up in the morning. That's also you getting up. I just need five more minutes. Just five more minutes. Ten more minutes. Yeah, those are the three most common things. What are the three things that I say a lot? Um, probably love you a lot. Like, love you. You say that a lot. Get off your devices. You say that a lot. put your phone down. Some variation of that. Um, I mean, you are trying to incorporate some... Um, new, like, younger, more Gen Z words like cap, so you also say that. Into my vocabulary, I like to say big cap and and um, call myself your, and your friend so, Sigmom. Oh, yeah, Sigmom. Sigmom. I, 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 am, I am the Sigmom to many, proudly, even though if it makes you cringe. Yeah, it makes me <laughs> cringe a lot. That's, That's my job. <laughs> what is one word you would use to describe me? Sick mom. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I think I walked right into that. What's one word you would use to describe me? Awesome. Okay. Thank you. No, you're an awesome kid. All right, here, I'll, I'll, I'll be the keeper of these. You get to take the next one, babes. Um, if you could change your name, what would you change it to? Sick mom. <laughs> Oh, God, where is this going? Uh, no, in all seriousness, what would I... I have no idea. Um, it would probably be some Buddhist word for lotus. I don't know what that is, lotus. If you could change your name, what would you change it to? Um, like, I, I, I've given this some thought, and... um. I do not want to change my name. I don't know what I would change it to. I kind of like my name. Oh, good. But, um, yeah. Well, then, then congratulations so I, and well I, done I, to I me. Don't, I don't think I could go by another name. That'd be kind of weird. What if it was, um, uh, Rafa? No. Um, oh, who's that tennis player that you love so much? Et cetera. What if I called you Roger? <laughs> no. No? Okay. What is my biggest strength? Um, commonly words. Words? Yeah. Like what words? Like your ability to like diffuse the situation and be just overall like really kind and yeah, like just ability to like when you walk into your room, your ability to make the room lighter and happier. So yeah, that's, that's your biggest strike. No, oh, that's nice. Thank you. Yeah. What's my biggest strike? Gosh, I, you've got two that uh, there are two top ones that are tied for me Mm -hmm. one is your confidence Mm -hmm. and the other is 
how much you care and just, you know, when I think about how you defend kids in your school and friends that are, you know, people are, are dunking on a little bit and just how, you know, one of your friends told me once, he is your, you are his only friend, you know, and we all know people like that. And it just, it makes me really proud of you that um, you're, you're a popular kid who's friends with a ton of other kids. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Is it my turn? Yeah. All right, now. Can you tell me about a time that you were really happy? Oh, my gosh. I have so many favorite happy moments. You were really happy. Oh, my gosh. I have so many favorite happy memories with you and, of course, with Dad and Alex. One of my happiest places in the world is when we're skiing together in Beaver Creek. Hey, I think we're going today, so I, I think get going. It. I think going down Ripsaw when it's not totally uh, choppy and gnarly. Um, I I think my my happiest times are skiing with you, skiing with you guys. All right. Can you tell me about a time that you were really happy? I don't know. The times I'm most happy is when when I'm with my friends. I mean, it doesn't matter what we're doing. Like as long as I'm there with them and like we're doing something. And having a good time. Um, then I'm happy. I don't really care what we're doing, though. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy. And... Awesome. Uh, what are you most grateful for? I'm most grateful for my family and the opportunities y'all can give me because I won't be able to do half the things I'm doing now without y'all support and helping me. So I'm really grateful for that. And that's what I'm most grateful for. What are the kind of things that you, I mean, specifically when you think of all the good good things you get to do? Like being able to go, like, to places in the world, like India and places like that, like countries that not everyone gets to go to and that I can have the opportunity to go to. Also, just the opportunities where I can play sports and stuff. Um, Not all families and people get the opportunity to play sports and so me being able to do that I'm really grateful because I really like sports yeah <clears throat> what are you grateful for what am I most grateful for you Alex dad Tommy Maria our family my team our friends our broader family the people in my life What was the last thing I did that upset you? Cut I know exactly what it is. <laughs> did you want to go? Sure. I stayed up till two AM last night. Last no, no, that night. wasn't no, that wasn't it. And um, but... um I had I knew I had an interview today with you and my mom. Yeah, yeah and you told me go to bed by twelve. I had a friend over. And um she came she comes rumbling down at two AM. And gives me and Judah an earful about... Yeah, they were supposed to be in bed two hours. Yeah. That wasn't that upsetting to me. Um, Probably in all seriousness, I I remember just a a handful of weeks ago that you were upset with me. I can't remember why, but you screamed to get out of your room. And, um, you know, you just... uh, You were really upset with me, and I feel like it was kind of unfair. Yeah. Okay. What is the last thing I did that upset you? You don't really upset me that much. Um, usually I upset myself and then you try and calm me down or it makes me more upset. So I don't think it's you. I think it's more me and then I make it worse. Yeah. How do you feel when I hug you? Terrible. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> I want to get out of the hug as fast as I can. Like I don't want to be there. That's it? I'm just kidding. Um, when you hug me, it's, it's nice. But, so, yeah. Hugs are cool. Hugs are cool. How do you feel when I hug you? So happy and grateful because I usually initiate the hug. Yeah. So when you come to hug me, it's like, it just makes my heart happy. Well, I know. And I wish you would do it more often. Okay, I'll try. What has been the hardest part of your life so far? God, geez, who wrote these questions, Nick? <laughs> Those people, yes. The hardest part of my life so far. 
Uh, if I'm being honest, I would say overcoming a lot of doubts about myself, um, feeling like I really need to prove myself, feeling like I'm not enough and not important and like I can't trust myself. Is that any of that surprising? Uh, you know, I mean, yes and no, because, like, I've heard it before, but... Because we live together? No, because, like, you're confident now, so it's kind of crazy that you used to doubt yourself. That I used to what? Doubt myself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What has been the hardest part of your life so far? So, my hardest part's about to come. Um, mm -hmm. I want to go pro in tennis, right? And so, I have to train really hard, and that training's just beginning. So, um... I think the hardest part is just going to be getting through these next few months and getting to a level where I can compete with everyone else and then learning tactic more tactically from there. So, yeah. You think it's going to be a lot of work? Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. Are you afraid of that? No, I'm excited. So is that hard? Yeah, but it's going to be hard, but I'm excited for the challenge. Awesome. If you could travel anywhere in the world for a family vacation, where would you want to go? Uh, probably New York. Oh, my God. I was going to say, don't say New York. There's no way he'll say New York. You used to live in New York. I know. Well, my roots are there, so I'll, I always want to go back and visit that place. I love that place. So New York or Kansas City to see the Chiefs play. Arrowhead Stadium. We got to go. Yeah. Yeah. But out of the country, um, I'd probably say Japan or Tokyo or somewhere over there, somewhere Asia, because, like, yeah, the food's really good, and I want to, like, I, I like, I'd like to live there, maybe. So, oh, really? Yeah, maybe check it out, you know? I think it'd be fun. Well, it, since this is for a family vacation, it looks like I'll be able to go with you, so I'm looking forward to that. If you could travel anywhere in the world for a family vacation, where would you go? I think I would like to go to um, maybe Australia. I was going to say Australia. Have you seen the bugs, though? They're like this big. I don't think you can do it. And I couldn't handle those bugs? Well, and I, I went to New Zealand when I was in my 20s on a backpacking trip, and I would love to bring you and the rest of our family back to New Zealand because yeah. that was extraordinary. Yeah, New Zealand seems like a pretty cool place. Super cool. All right, may I have that? Hey, you get to pick the card. What is the mistake you have made that you'll never make again? Oh, uh, do you want the honest answer? <laughs> I, the honest answer is the mistake I made that I'm going to try to never make again is losing my patience and shouting at you. Okay. Well, all right. Trying. I can't, I can't promise, but I will try. I'm committed to that. Mm -hmm. What is a mistake you have made that you will never make again or never, or try to never make again? Accidentally breaking my door. I was really pissed off one night and um, I threw a rock at my door and it broke the door. And I don't think you'll throw any more rocks through glass doors again? No. Okay, good. You're pretty pretty sure about that one? Yeah. All right, great. Glad, glad, glad for that. I'm always glad for that. What do you love most about yourself? Probably probably my athleticism. Like, I, I love being athletic, and I think, and it's really fun. And I can't wait to grow more and become more athletic and just be better. So, which looks for that. I love that. What do you love most about yourself? Uh, about myself, my uh, how much I care and sense of um, uh, caring about the people around me. And as a result of that, I get to have a life filled with people like you. If you could change one thing about your life, what would it be? My height and weight. Because I'm pretty short and I'm skinny. So if I could get, like, a few more inches before my, like, big growth spurt, uh, I'd be pretty nice. If you change one thing about your life, what would it be? 
probably better skin. What do you mean better skin? <laughs> Your skin's fine. Uh, just wait till you're a 52 year old. Um, I think if there's one thing I could change in my life, it would be a better balance that I could, I could learn to dial back on my work so I could spend more time with people that I love. You spend a lot of time with us. I think it's a pretty good balance so far. So thank you, Omni. What is your most overwhelming emotion? My most overwhelming emotion. Fear. Fear, fear of what? Fear of failure. Fear of not being good enough. Fear of being seen and doubted and judged. Honestly, I thought you were going to say losing your title of Sigmom. <laughs> I'm never losing that title. I don't even think about that because it's so completely cemented in my personhood. All right, now. <laughs> what is your most overwhelming emotion? Probably anger because I'm hot-headed and I can make impulsive decisions. Um, so I think I need to think about everything before I do it. Yeah, that's what I need to work on. Guess. What do you like to do when we hang out together? Uh, listen to audiobooks and watch movies. That's I don't hurt. Favorite movie or audiobook that we've watched or listened to together? Favorite audiobook even though I've also read the actual book is Dune because it was long and it's different and it's one of my favorite books ever. Uh -huh. um, especially because I've technically read it twice. Uh -huh. I've gotten such a better feel for it and um, I really like the style of writing Frank Herbert brings. Uh -huh. um, and I've read uh, the first the first four now. And um, yeah, it's I I really like it, and so I think that's the best audiobook we've ever had. What do you like to do when we hang out together? Ski, ski, crushing, uh, um, uh, red tail or uh, some of the other tougher runs um, in Beaver Creek when they're groomed. <laughs> and I I think this will be this will be some of the best we've ever had since um, we just had that huge. Snow pour and it's not all gone, so it's gone and it's still gonna be snowing a little bit up top. So I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be good snow. And Hopefully our next ski trip will be good. Okay, go ahead. What is something that bothers you about our house? Oh wow, that's a random question. There aren't more bedrooms. Really? Good. Because I want to have more people come and stay with us. I mean, yeah, it's valid. What is something that bothers you about our house? The sleep gas that's pumped in there that makes you have to yeah, feel like you have to yawn. I don't know. I, I, I love my, I like this house. So. Are you happy that it's your home? Yeah. So I don't have a lot of complaints. Okay. If I did have one though, I wish like, um, like around the, the stairs going up, like there'd be more protection. So. Our cat doesn't fall through because that that's what worries me the most oh my god yeah cupcake I, likes to just walk right on the edge the thing that i would say for you is a flat area in the yard for football because our yard is so sloped yeah i mean we have a court so yeah but okay is it me what makes you feel completely safe and comfortable football i think that Everything just, like, I don't have to worry about anything when I'm playing football, I think. It's just fun. I'm happy when I'm playing football. How about watching it? Yeah, I really like watching football, but after I'm done, I feel very lazy. <laughs> well, and it can make you feel a little mad when um, your uh, Chiefs are yeah, not doing um, so well. I remember breaking my phone one time because... I the Chiefs lost to the Raiders, and I threw my phone across the room and I broke it. So yeah, probably not a good idea to no, do that. No, probably not. But we won the Super Bowl. It all worked out in the end. It all worked out in the end. What's what makes you feel completely safe and comfortable? I think when I'm with 
you, Alex, and Dad, like especially if we're home, uh, relaxing together, watching a movie, or just um, hanging out together. When was the last time you cried? Tell me about it. Oh, the last time I cried was when um, Dad and I got into a fight and you and Alex were upset. I know Alex was way more upset than I was, but I, w I was just trying to get through the day, roll out of bed and get to school. And uh, yeah, you were pretty upset. Yeah. What is the last time you cried? Tell me about it. Tom, I, um, it was a few weeks ago. I was playing football and <clears throat> I uh, fell and landed on my wrist. And I thought, and it's still not 100% now, it's almost there, it's getting there. Um, I thought I broke my wrist, but it, it was spraying so, but it, it really hurt because um, it was cold out too and the impact um really hurt and then i kept playing with it because i didn't know it was hurt so yeah did you cry a little bit not really if i got too full i didn't like cry though i mean i kind of cried you didn't sob i didn't sob cried a little yeah all right listen uh, uh jason kelsey has made it okay to cry as as a guy especially a football player what makes me different from other people my age well, you're know, doing something different. I don't know a lot of people uh, your age that are in like a relationship business, like you're helping other people succeed in their relationships or do a podcast. Um, so yeah, it's kind of different. What well, makes me different from other people my age? Well, you you know a lot of people. I know, and that's uh, so I can say this with a lot of confidence. The way that you stand up for other people and the way that you are willing to um, say things that are unpopular um, because you're courageous and it's the right thing to do, I think that's really unnatural and awesome for a 14 year old. Because, mm -hmm. you know, at your age, everybody wants to fit in and when I think about the courage you have to say things that um, other people won't say, but it's the right thing to do, I think that's really awesome and unique. <laughs> okay. What is the nicest thing I do for you? I think the nicest thing that you do is... Um, you're, you hug me and we are, you're physically affectionate. Um, even around your friends, you're, uh, we have a close relationship and you show how close we are by, you know, just hugging and, and being cuddly. And I love that. What is the nicest thing I do for you? Probably come to my football games and come to my things and support me because I know you have a lot of work to do and you just supporting me um, it's really it's nice you also like motivate me at home like to get outside and go practice and whatnot I feel good what do you need me to do when you are angry um back off like just just leave me alone yeah what are you, what do you need me to do for you when you're angry? To be empathetic, to be tuned in and say, hey, something like, you know, mom, I can see you're really upset. I'm really sorry. Is there anything I can do to help? You know, something like that. That'd be awesome. What do you like about me as a person? Oh, my God. It's such a long list. Is it? <laughs> is it really? It is. It really, really is. I, like I said, I love the um, how courageous you are when it comes to standing up and doing the right thing. I've seen you do that many times in social situations. I love how um, how much you love our cat, and it just it shows just such a a sweet 
side of you. Um, I love how courageous you are when it comes to putting yourself out there and trying new things, whether it's with football or basketball or skiing or, or tennis or sports or when there's an opportunity to do something new, say if we're on vacation, you're always game to to try that new, fun, adventurous thing. So I love your sense of adventure and just how um, kind and um, caring you are. I mean, the list could go on, but <laughs> well, I'll, uh, I'll ask you, what do you like about me as a person? I'm very kind and generous and thoughtful. Uh, you know when someone's angry and you know um, usually how to fix that. Uh, you're also, you're also like, you, you don't back down when, so, when someone else is like challenging you. Like, you don't, you're not scared to fight back and you don't just let people walk on you. you. Have I ever made a choice that you wish I didn't make and what was it? No, I don't think there's a choice. Um, I didn't like you making. I mean, maybe Cobbacy. I didn't. I mean, I thought it was fun, but I don't think it was that uh, that summer camp that you went to last year. Yeah, I don't think he was wasting that time. It was fun though, but I think I could have done more valuable things. But it, it was it was really fun. So maybe, so kind of, kind of liked it, but kind of, kind of maybe not. Okay. There you go. Have I ever made a choice that you wish I didn't make? What was it? Rocks the door. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I lived with the door for like a long time without that glass panel. Yeah, you know, like four, four or five months. More than that. Try like a year. Yeah, like a year. I mean, yeah. I literally had no privacy. Consequences. Like I got to lock my door, and people could just walk right in through the glass panel that was no longer there. Yeah, I remember. I used to do that. So I think, um, just, I think any time I've seen you get really angry, uh, it's hard for me to see that because I know how painful it is for you. So that's that's it. And I know you're, you're working on that. What's your biggest dream? I mean, I, I'm. I'm living so many of the dreams and experiences I thought I'd never have. When I think about one of my biggest dreams is for you to achieve your desire to become a um, really successful professional tennis player. Mm -hmm. But but it's it's not for me, it's for you, mm -hmm. right? Because I, I feel like for you to achieve something that you have desired for as long as you have, mm -hmm. it would feel... Um, like a great gift to me. But if you say, listen, that's not, I, I'm switching gears and I'm doing something else, and you decide that's not what you want, then that's okay too. Yeah, my biggest dream is to become a professional tennis player. So I think that's, that's what my biggest dream is. Me too. Okay. Happy for that. Final okay. three. What don't I understand about your life outside of our house? Or what don't I understand about your life? Um, it's a lot, like, there's a lot of stuff that goes on, and, um, I'm down for it, but, yeah, I think, and it's fun, and, yeah, so I think, I think it's just a lot of stuff going on, a lot of moving pieces. Like what? That's confidential, like, sorry. You gotta give me something. <laughs> Lots of moving pieces. Lots going on. I just, there's always something new, and so I find that very fun. Like, there's always something new to talk about, and so. Do you mean that when it comes to new things happening that you're talking about and um, just sharing with your friends, or what? Do you, when you say always yeah, something new? Yeah, I mean, new? just anything, anything new, like football to what's happening in school to, I mean, yeah, it's just a lot. What don't I understand about your life outside the house, outside of our house? 
you never leave the house <laughs> except to go hiking you have to go hiking <laughs> yeah and when i go hiking that's where the magic happens um what don't you understand me about outside our house um probably especially considering i'm about to head to a publishing conference probably um the friends and the professional life i have as a a woman outside of what you see right i mean i feel like you're you're used to seeing me as mom mm -hmm. what well, you don't see me as much is as a a friend and a colleague and um, having adult relationships um, outside of you and outside of our family. What can I start doing right now to make our relationship better? Quit yawning. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, one. No, nope, um, we got your answer. <laughs> nope. There's no renews. <sighs> And it didn't say just what can I start doing better right now to make our relationship better. It didn't say just one thing. I can give you a list. Well, you don't get I think, reduced. I think you there's like I think there's a list of like twelve things. You don't get. A I list. think the implied um, answer is what is the list of things I can do right now to make our relationship better. So I think it's um, being a little less stubborn. Okay. You know when I'm asking you, hey, it's time to to do whatever. It's time to do whatever and. You know, and just to be a little more compliant because then we'll have, life will be a little easier and more harmonious. Okay. What can I start doing right now to make our relationship better? I don't think the relationship's already pretty good. Just so as long as you back off when I'm mad, that's all right. That's it? Just one thing? No redo? Get a dog? Get another cat? Well, yeah, another, a dog would be nice, so. That will make our relationship better? I actually think it would. Because then, like... One while listening to our audio book. Like, have a cat on, and on, the dog. On the weekends, the dog can sit on you and the cat can sit on me. <laughs> I think that's destiny. I like it. Is it mine or yours? To yours. All right. Final question. Really, I can go play some video games. Are you proud of me? Yes. Why? Because you're awesome. You're, you're, you're cool. You're nice. You're a sick mom. So, yeah. I'm proud of you. Anything else? No. That's it? All right. Mm -hmm. Are you proud of me? Why? I am super proud of you for a lot of reasons. Um, you've overcome a lot. Mm -hmm. You've had some health issues. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've had some challenges that have been really heartbreaking for me. All right. Okay. okay. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna let me finish uh, finish my answer. No, <laughs> I want to go. Just kidding. But oh, yeah. No, I, I, I really, in all sincerity, um, I admire your resilience, and just especially with uh, so many times when you were feeling nauseous or stomach ache, or you were throwing up, or you were frustrated that you weren't gaining weight, um, and and weren't able to eat the things you wanted to eat, and just a lot of these setbacks and challenges that you have shown so much resilience and um, um, and and are, are so joyful and charismatic and such a smart, interesting, creative person. I mean, when I think about the poetry reading um, event you just participated in, um, writing some of your own poems, I mean, there's just so much about you that is... Um, so admirable to me. I mean, you're a superstar athlete, but there's so much more to you. You're not one dimensional. You're not a cartoon. You're a, a kid with a lot of depth. Anything else before uh, before we do so? Anything else you want to say or ask me? Can I get Chick Fil A, please? There seems to be a theme, uh, a fast food theme. I think the what did Alex say? What did she ask? A Alex is trying to get uh, McDonald's via DoorDash. <laughs> And Coca-Cola through um, Fawcett. So there's definitely a theme uh, with Gosh, your brothers. Indeed, now, now we know for sure that you share some kind of um, junk food DNA. All right. This is a great episode, Nicholas. Thank you. It's been uh, really fun to, to talk with you about all these things. Nicholas, thanks for being on the show. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, oh I, I get a hug. My, my bug. 
Thank you. Love you, pumpkin.